Hey everyone! Today I want to go over a Unity feature that lets you create custom meshes for your 2D sprites that more closely match your art, so you end up with less overdraw, fewer triangles, and potentially better performance. First, some background. Behind the scenes, even for 2D games, Unity uses its 3D system to display 2D graphics, so every sprite has to have its own mesh that gets sent to the GPU to render to the screen. The simplest way to do this is to just create a rectangle that's big enough to contain the sprite. This uses only two triangles, but it creates a lot of what's called overdraw. When the sprite mesh is sent to the GPU, the GPU has to render every screen pixel that's covered up by the sprite's mesh. So if there are a lot of transparent pixels in the sprite art, the GPU ends up doing a ton of extra work to render these completely transparent pixels. The larger the sprite appears on the screen, the more overdraw will occur. To remedy this, you can create a more complicated mesh that more closely matches the shape of the sprite art. These meshes have more triangles than a simple rectangular mesh, but for many GPUs, overdraw is much worse for performance than a handful of extra triangles. If you set a sprite's mesh type to tight instead of full rect, Unity will make a custom mesh for your sprite that has less overdraw than a rectangle. Unfortunately, the meshes Unity creates by default are not great. Whatever algorithm they're using seems to err on the safe side and produce meshes that still have a lot more overdraw than they need to. It also seems to really struggle with semi-transparent round sprites and sprites with holes in them, producing meshes with tons of vertices. For a long time, I thought there was nothing you could do about this. I used to use an asset store asset called SpriteSharp that is supposed to address this, but it currently does not work for Unity 2019.3, and it was always a bit sketchy to use. It turns out that Unity has its own system for defining custom sprite meshes that's pretty much hidden in plain sight. If you go to the sprite editor for a particular sprite sheet, in the upper left-hand corner, there's a drop-down with a handful of options I had never seen before. The one we're interested in is called Custom Outline. From here, you can select a sprite and define a custom outline by clicking and dragging to create a shape that more closely matches the shape of the sprite. Behind the scenes, Unity will take this shape and generate a mesh to use to render the sprite in-game. The controls are a little clunky, but you get used to them. You can always control Z to undo anything you've done, and nothing is saved until you click Apply. If you want Unity to help you create the outline, you can click Generate, and Unity will auto-generate an outline. Again, the auto-generated outlines are not great. You can increase the outline tolerance to make the system use more vertices to create a tighter outline, but I tend to leave outline tolerance at zero, have Unity create a basic outline, and then refine it by hand. You can delete a selected point by pressing the delete key on your keyboard. If you want the points to snap to the pixel grid, you can enable the snap toggle in the upper left. I keep it on most of the time. In general, you want to find a balance between the number of vertices and the amount of wasted space. I don't usually get more detailed than this, but if the sprite appears very large on the screen, it may be worth making a tighter outline. Defining these custom outlines is time consuming, so you'll likely want to find the sprites with the worst meshes and fix them first. To do this, we can go to the scene view and use two special views that show us how our sprites are rendering. The first view is the wireframe view. It shows what meshes are being used to render the sprites. This view is especially good for finding sprite meshes that have way too many triangles. If you click on the wireframe, it will show you what sprite it's coming from. From there, you can define a custom outline to fix whatever issue you're seeing. When you click Apply, the wireframe will update. The other view is the overdraw view. This shows the shape of your sprite meshes and how much overdraw they generate. If a sprite appears much larger in this view, there is likely room for improving its mesh. Again, Clicking on the sprite will bring it up in the editor, and when you create the custom outline and click Apply, the sprite will update in the overdraw view. How fixing the sprite meshes will affect performance is hard to say precisely, but it will almost certainly decrease the amount of unnecessary work your GPU has to do. If you found this video useful, consider giving it a like or a comment. Thanks for watching.